Hey guys, it's Reed with KS Tune here, and I'm up in the engineering office where there's no AC, and I'm hot and uncomfortable, and it got me to thinking about overheating Hondas, and a new product that we have that's been a long time coming because everybody's Honda overheats in the summer. And it's the end of July right now, and it's 105 degrees outside, and it's probably 90 degrees in this room right now. And so, like I said, I'm hot and I'm uncomfortable. So uh, I figured why not sweat it out and uh, talk about something that will keep at least your engine cool, even if I can't be cool. Uh, so this is the electric water pump kit for uh, EG, EF, EK, DC, you know, the standard chassis, uh, chassis that we all work with. And uh, what we have right now with this kit is an electric water pump. This particular version has Dash 16 AN fittings with hose uh, ends and Dash 16 AN braided black nylon hose with uh, stainless uh, underneath the nylon. It's an electric water pump kit that comes complete with a mounting bracket to bolt to any B series trans and we'll have future options for uh, different uh, brackets for different chassis, but uh, that should cover you know, 90% of the applications, even H to B. So um, this bolts right uh, on the three bolt flange at the front of the tranny, where the um, uh, you know, front torque mount would normally bolt and a lot of um, options, uh, most setups actually in, in drag racing don't even use that mount. So anyways, uh, this will directly replace uh, that or it can sandwich behind it. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's cut this thing open. So this is KST 1161. Let's get this going. So. All right. So what do we got? Got some packing material. Packing material. So here is your bracket. Here is four AN fittings. This comes with four 90 degree fittings and that should cover uh, the majority of applications. If you have a unique mounting location for your radiator or you got a um, you know, swirl pot or a water net configuration that's different, um, and just let us know and we can supply um, straight or 45s or 60 degree um, alternatives to this. Uh, you know, add just one fitting and, and uh, you know, as you need. So just let us know if you have a unique situation and uh, you know, we'll, we'll work with you on that one. So you got a mounting bracket, you got fasteners that bolt this mounting bracket to your electric water pump. Now, these electric water pumps, it's a centrifugal style water pump. So these pumps are amazing. This can keep uh, an engine that is four times the displacement of that engine cool. So this uh, water pump will absolutely keep uh, any setup cool, you know, assuming you have a, an appropriately sized radiator. But uh, if any water pump can do it, this water pump can do it. And that's a fact. So this is a, uh, you know, a significant upgrade from uh, a mechanical water pump. And the biggest thing that you need to consider is a mechanical water pump spins the slowest at idle, right? Because it's belt driven from the timing belt. So when you're at idle and you're, you know, trudging along on the street, stuck in traffic, or even in the staging lanes, um, that water pump um, is moving a very small amount of water. So it doesn't start to do anything until you, you know, spin up the RPM. So an electric water pump is very different in that way because um, you can PWM control this to do whatever you want as far as um, when you want it to speed up or you can have it um, you know, spinning and, and moving the maximum amount of water at all times. So um, one thing that we will have in the future and matter of fact we already have working here in the shop is a Kaizen relay that's uh, PWM speed controlling uh, this kit and uh, we hope to and expect to offer a plug and play um, Kaizen Relay um, with a speed control option um, in the future. So 
by the time you watch this video, maybe that's already a thing. Okay, so bracket with fasteners, uh, 4-1690s, and these are all branded. The uh, bracket has KS tuned, laser etched in it, all the fittings. Um, have our logo laser etched into them. Um, the difference with our fittings and a lot of fittings that you'll just find from, you know, whatever the cheapest place that you'll find them is, is the um, diameter, inside diameter of the fitting is larger than what you might find on an all, all competitor or an alternative fitting. Um, not all dash 16 AN fittings have the same internal diameter. So that's what those are. And then there is two 16 AN fittings, and this is for the inlet and outlet of the water pump. And then three feet of hose. So we'll cut this thing open and, and uh, show you how it all comes together. All right, now that I'm even more hot and uncomfortable, let's uh, open this stuff up and I'll show you what's inside of all these little baggies that come with uh, each electric water pump kit. So. First of all, the thing that makes it application specific is the bracket. So this is the bracket that will bolt to the front side of the transmission, any B-series hydro trans, this will bolt up. Um, the water pump bolts on like so. And then it's slotted so you can rotate this in whatever orientation you want. So you get that, you get some nice, oh man, it's hot in here. <laughs> you get some nice zinc plated fasteners, um, zinc so they won't corrode, um, AKA rust. So that's nice. And they're flanged um, instead of a regular hex head bolt that's uh, with a washer that's uh, sloppy and ghetto. So flange zinc fasteners are included. You've got two dash 16 fittings and these are um, branded with our logo, KS Tune logo on them. And this will thread right into the water pump here, inlet and outlet. Now, alternatively, we have another part number that's this electric water pump kit without the AN fittings, and then you can just slide a one and a quarter inch radiator hose, which is the standard radiator hose size, right over the inlet here, and it's got a nice little barb on it, and right over the outlet here, also with a nice little barb. So you can choose whether to run a regular radiator hose or dash 16 fittings. And it is getting hot in here. I thought that would kind of be funny to do this uh, install video about overheating Hondas and maybe have a overheating host. But uh, now I think this idea sucks. But I'm gonna continue on because I'm gonna start with a finish. <laughs> Uh, fittings. So these fittings also branded with our logo and not uh, cheap crappy fittings. So this will just thread right on here. Same thing on the outlet. And then we include three feet of hose. This is braided nylon hose. Um, stainless um, underneath the nylon. So it's uh, you know abrasion resistant, but it's not going to scuff up if it's touching a piece of aluminum or something like that. So you can just cut this to length and assemble your hose ends for your application. Everybody's application will be a little bit different, but in every application, this should be enough hose. 
If you do need more because you got something exotic or unique, just let us know and we can provide whatever length hose you need. But that's it. So um, this is everything that you need to bolt this on. Then all you need to do is provide a 12 volt source to the pump um, to power it up. So what we normally do is you will remove the thermostat so and then you will just have this pump kick on at the point that the thermostat would normally open so it works it still works to keep your engine up to temperature quickly or get your engine up to temperature quickly because there would be um, no water movement uh, until you reach a temperature threshold so that'll still get it up to temperature quickly um, as soon as the pump turns on um, obviously it'll probably drop the temperature down a bit before it climbs back up. Um, similar to how a, a thermostat works. But the thermostat, even when it is wide open, it is a restriction. So the overheating Honda thing is pretty common, especially in the summer, this time of year, the phone's usually ringing with, hey, my engine's overheating. I think my head gasket might be blown. It's almost never the head gasket. It's usually that they have a, a poor fan or a, a very small radiator. Um, and this is common with drag radiators, etc. So uh, water movement is important and removing the thermostat is important because even when the thermostat is open, it is a smaller inside diameter than um, other water passages in the engine and can serve as a restriction. So anyways, with this kit, remove the thermostat and uh, that's it. Let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, these are up on the website, kstune.com. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna go find some AC, so.